Hello, good teacher. Good night. Good evening. How was your day? Um, I think I'm fine, teacher. And what's your day? Mine was good. You know, I'm not, I'm not uh, traveling to uh, these days because uh, my son got COVID. <laughs> then he's not going to school. But thank God he had already three shots from the vaccine and he only had fever two days. And we know it's COVID because we, we tested him. But he has almost no problem. Even when he suffered from allergic or from bad cold, he was worse than today. But uh, I don't want to send him to school because I prefer him to be here. Even he is isolated at home in order to avoid uh, the spread of it. My mother uh, already is tested and she, she hasn't got it. So we are fine. Okay. And about me, I don't know if I have it because I'm the one who uses to be closer to him. And my mother said, you should test. And I say, what for? I'm the one more isolated here at home. If I don't have to pick Danny anywhere, I don't go any, <laughs> anywhere, so there's no problem. <laughs> In my case, I was studying because uh, I have to do an uh, exam in the university because I am a, I don't know how to say parciales I think yes. midterm uh -huh. uh, I have midterm the this week and then I was studying for my for my midterms uh -huh. and, and you feel bad uh, no I was studying today, but I ha I am I have been uh, sleeping too because I was really tired because I oh okay okay yeah. well uh, I want to suggest uh, if you study every day is better than if you go to study right for for the for the test because every day if when you get one class and you reinforce it the same day you are gaining uh, 65 percent of the knowledge but if you don't, if you don't reinforce it the, the, the very first day, then you lose that percentage. So it's better if you study every day and then for your, you, you won't need to study for your, for your exams because you already have it uh, reinforced and already in your system. That, that's the way I, I used to study. That's why I, I, I told you that it's better. And it's something that we as teachers study. So we know the percentages are increased if you study the, fir the very first day that you got the class. I suggest you to have uh, like a, an erase notebook, uh, I mean, something that you copy everything from scratch and then have another notebook to pass the things, the, 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 the day that you study. And that, that way 
you are reinforcing, you are studying, and you are keeping your notebook nice. Then if you, uh, at the end of the week, you can read it again and you are reinforcing more. And when you, when you have your test, I recommend you to sleep more because if you are tired for a test, you are not getting anything good from that. Thank I know you. what I mean. <laughs> uh, thank you for the suggestion, teacher. I will try this because actually I every time I study, I, I sometimes take notes with another book, but my problem is that every time I study two, uh, the last night, I, I think that I will to report my, my not reading, but I know but that is a problem. And I sometimes you, you sometimes you don't know what you have written there. Yes, teacher, but I will try mm -hmm. the recommendation. Thank you. Yes, it, it, okay, you know. I'm here for that. <laughs> I think that the if you enjoyed your your uh como digo tus materias. The subjects. Uh, if you enjoy the subject, you will be understand or understand all. Uh, well, uh, my suggestion no. about 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 that uh, the, the subjects that you love and the subjects that you dislike. Uh, another another uh, suggestion is that the subjects that you don't like are the ones that you have to study more. Uh, now the information is uh, is como digo está en todas partes. Yes. Uh, if you read the the items after the class, you will be uh, como le digo, aprenderá más, o sea, le gustará y aprenderá más. Si, si, si él vaya, si, aprende, si ya leyó lo que va a ver en la clase, puede discutir con el profesor. Yes. yes. Y aprenderá mucho más. That, that's much better also. But there are some teachers that don't like to give the pencil to the students. Uh, even when they had to give it uh, the very first day, they are supposed to give. Uh, the items they, that they will be covering during during the semester. But there are some teachers that don't like to do that, but they had to. And the students have to ask for it. Eh, lo, los, los profesores deben de entregar qué es lo que se va a cubrir durante el curso, al el primer día de clase, si es posible. Y si ellos no lo dan, usted debe de pedirlo. That way, you go ahead, and as he said, you already have read something, and you can discuss and you can ask for information. But also, if you study the each each day, when you finish uh, passing the notes in your notebook, uh, you will have uh, questions about the the what you have received and you can ask the 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 very next day to the teacher one one of my teachers uses to to wait for me because he uh, i was studying uh, at the law school and he's he uses to wait for me because he said that it, it was a good start for the next class because i always have questions about the previous class <laughs> and it was like a reinforce for him. I, I love to study. And I miss it. I want to continue Hello. study. Hello, teacher. Hello. I have problems with um, my... Where? My study. 
uh -huh. what happened? My English because uh, mi sobrino fa falleció y no me he estado concentrando muy bien. Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened to him? Uh, tenía 16 años y le dio un infarto. Wow. You don't know why? Uh, de un día para el otro, en dos horas, uh, murió. But maybe he had previous problems. No, yeah. no se le notaba, no se le notaba. Sofía, si ya already had that problem and you have other nieces and nephews, you have to notice their, their finger, their, their nails. Uh, no. Their fingers. If you notice that they are not uh, pink, but somehow blue you have to check their their heart no si jugando fútbol estaba y cayó that's muerto. why he he had a previous thing and you didn't know it but if you have other nieces and nephews you have to check first the nails they have to be like this pink if you notice it somehow uh purple or not pink you have to go and, and check them because uh, that is a condition that could be a uh, pass in in the generation when you have heart problems even you you have to notice your 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 nails Look at if you used to to have a nail polish, take it out and check. That's why when when we go to 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 have an operation, they always ask you to take out the the polish from your nails because they have to check there if you have any problem with your heart. Hmm. Uh huh. Ahí mala suerte, pero. I, 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 we, I am sorry, but uh, he is already resting. And sí. the ones that are still alive had to check. Ay, la mamá se quería aventar en el hoyo junto con el niño, pero. Ah, imagine that. Ay, la mamá, pobrecita. Yes, it's a pity. It's really, really hard. So sorry. So, so sorry for, for the family. Sofia, if you need more time to finish the platform, you can write to the teacher. There is a person that is our training or I don't remember the name, but you can write and tell the situation and, and ask for more time. Sí, porque hasta, hasta now se asiento. Diego yes. Flores is our tutor, ¿no? Pues, yes. No, I, I am your tutor. No, but, but uh, the other person that uh, is a uh, right us, right to us, uh -huh, and she, he right that is if we have a problem, we need to write them. Ah, uh, okay, vamos a hablar ahí. <laughs> Gracias. Sí. Pero no me, no me logro concentrar así. Well, uh, I, I, can, I can assist you, I can help you personally. If, if you have uh, any, any doubts, any problems, during the day, just let me know and, and we can, uh, you contact me through WhatsApp and, and we can meet something in, in a different way. I know you you are not in a position to study. You are not in a position to to get focused on it. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's very hard for all the family. 
but you also need to to try to continue. Ah. Okay, you also need to try to continue. It's not it's not something uh, easy. I know no. it because, well, it, it, in my case, it happened with my brother. He suddenly died last year, um, at the beginning of the year, and it was for COVID, and we didn't expect it neither. And it was hard. I was with, with a group of, of, of students. And even I, I, I almost cannot give the class because it was very, very hard for me. But I had to continue. Okay. And We have to know that even when don't understand something, every, everything happens for a reason, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe it, it's a warning sign for the rest of your family to be checked, okay? Because uh, as I told you, there is a condition that can be in the, in the, in the genes. So you, you, all of you had to go to the doctor and check your heart and check the effort in your heart. It's not just a, a regular thing, but you have to make an effort with all the things in your, in your body to see how your heart is working with an effort, okay? It, 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 it's called that way. De esa forma se llama, o sea, es, este, es un chequeo de esfuerzo. Because sí. if, he, he, if he was uh, developing uh, uh, exercises while it happened, then the heart the, uh, cannot resist the effort. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Le voy a escribir entonces. Ah. Ru yes. Ruth es su nombre, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Busco. Okay. okay. Now, uh, the three to Kribati. Okay. Here we have a reading. Uh, Kiribati, uh, it's, I, I put this, uh, it's from Google Maps. Uh, this is not in the platform. I, I, I took it from Google Maps. If you can see, this is the date line, okay? La línea de la fecha. And if you notice, it comes here and then it breaks here, right in the middle of the ocean. Why? Because if it continues this way, here will be one day and here will be another day. It, it breaks this way because here there are a lot of islands that belong to the same uh, country, okay? Which is Kiribati. It's a set of islands and then they, they decided that they don't want to be one uh, set of islands in one day and the other set of islands in another day. That's why they had to do this with the date line, okay? But they have another problem now and we will be reading about it. Um, the people in Kiribati pronounce Kiribati are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear, literally. Several times in the past few years, 
the Pacific Islands nation has been flooded by sudden high tides. These tides which swept across the islands and destroyed houses came when there was neither wind nor rain. The older citizens in Kiribati say this has never happened before. Uh, any questions about vocabulary here? Do you understand everything? No questions yeah. about vocabulary? Yeah, what, what does that mean, tides? Tides eh, son este, mareas, la marea. Eh, eh, las, las olas también. Okay. You know that there is low tide and high tide. O sea, hay marea ah, okay. alta y marea baja, marea, marea baja. baja y marea alta. Low es baja and high es alta. This, they high, they when they had high tides, is marea alta. And when when that says these tides which swept across the island and destroyed it, houses, what is that? It is uh, barren, sweep, barren. O sea que entran y se llevan todas las casas. Sweat, o sea, barrer, destruyen. But the high tides. Yes, it's, when... it's like it's like when we had the uh, maremotos. Okay. Su tsunamis. The the tsunamis. Uh -huh. When when they come and they destroy everything and then they go. Okay. It's that way, but without wind and without, uh, it is happening naturally nowadays, okay? Without wind and without rain, that means that it has no reason to do that, but still it is happening, okay? They, okay. they, 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 are, they are afraid because they can, they can disappear one of these days. Yeah, it's suddenly that can uh -huh. happen. Okay. But, and here it says the older citizens say this has never happened before. The older citizens, the, 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 the older people, they say that they had no, these problems. They didn't have these problems before. Is something that is happening now, okay? Now, Kiribati consists of 33 islands scattered across 3,860 kilometers, 2,400 miles of the Pacific Ocean near the equator. They are particularly threatened by high tides because none of the islands of Kiribati rises more than two meters, 6.5 feet above sea level. Do you understand that? That the islands are very flat. They, they rise from the sea level only two meters. Okay, wow. so the high tides cover them. Okay. What is causing these mysterious tides? The answer may be global warming. When fuels like oil and coal are burned, they release pollutants that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. Rising temperatures create more water by melting glaciers and polar ice caps. Scientists say that if the trend continues, many countries will suffer 
uh, Bangladesh, for example, might lose one fifth of its land. So, uh, Bangladesh might lose, Bangladesh podría perder un quinto de su tierra, okay? However, the coral islands nations of the Pacific, like Kiribati, and the Marshall Islands, could face an even worse fate. They could be swallowed by the sea. This could be everyone's loss. Coral formations are home to more species than any other place on Earth. Okay. Any any questions about vocabulary here? Maybe trap. 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 Hit. What is it? Uh, In the second part. I don't know. In the four line. Uh, that trap hit in the earth atmosphere. Atrapa. Atrapa el calor en la atmósfera de la tierra. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. that, that causes the global warming. What we call efecto invernadero. Okay. Then, however, okay, the people of these nations feel frustrated. The ocean on which their economies have always been based is suddenly threatening their existence. There are no easy answers. These nations don't have a lot of money, so they can't afford expensive solutions like sea walls, and they have no control over pollutants, which are being released mainly by large industrialized countries. All they can do is to hope that these countries will take steps to reduce pollution and therefore global warming. Okay, so they are poor, they cannot control it as uh, other countries like Netherlands do, okay? Because Netherlands are, are spending a lot of money uh, to keep their land from from the sea, uh, but they they are not causing the problem, and they cannot do anything to stop it. Okay, it's a pity. We will uh, keep this reading, okay, for later use. I just wanted to read it for you and to discuss it. Now, okay, this one. Now, somebody to read this, please, for us. Yolanda, please. Imagination is more important than knowledge. What Albert do you think Einstein. about that? It's true. <laughs> you, as a, you as a teacher, you know it, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> 
Imagination is more important than knowledge. You know that most of the um, science and, and discoveries that we had is because of in imagination more than knowledge. Okay. And the one that is telling this is Albert Einstein. You know, uh, he was one of the best scientists in the world and his lab was his mind. He, he develops almost all his theories in his mind. And later, when the technology can be developed, they actually uh, see that what he said was true. So when he tell the things, he cannot prove them. But later when they already had the technology, they prove it and they see that he was right. He had a good imagination. Now, uh, Don Dagoberto, could you read the lesson objective, please? Lesson objectives. In this class, participants will learn how to make proper rising and falling intonation in question of choice. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we will be listening to it. This. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar? or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, again. Take broadcasting uh, or economics. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night. Okay. Do you notice the, the rising and falling intonation? Study fashion or hospitality? This happens when you are giving choices, okay? First you go up and then you go down. First up, then down, okay? when you are asking for choice. That means that you have, you, this, these questions, you cannot answer them just by telling yes or no. You have to choose, you have to say, if you want the first one or the second one, okay? Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Okay, broadcasting or economics? Okay, would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? In my case, I remember that I had the chance to study in the morning and in the, in the afternoon. And I noticed that most of the people 
think that the better students study in the morning at the school and as and, and the the people that study in the afternoon had had a very bad reputation. But actually, I prefer to study in the afternoon because I had the chance to start my 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 homework in the evening. And if I cannot complete it, I continue in the morning. And I have had them set for the afternoon. But if you study in the morning, most of the time when you get home, you have lunch and then you feel like a little uh, tired or you have other things to do. And then sometimes you forget to do the homework and you have to get it ready for the morning. <laughs> so you cannot spare any time uh, to, do, to do your homework. I prefer to study in the afternoon. Okay, even when, when the people from the afternoon has not good reputation. Now, lesson objective. By the end of the class, you will learn how to express choices using good rather and good prefer, okay? Now, uh, Mauricio Morales, could you read this please? Okay, we're, re we're rather and will prefer. We're rather take the base front of the verb. We prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Okay, thank you. The first takes, you read it bad, but the second takes, you read it well. That means that you choose to omit the S the first time. But at the, in the second time you do it well. Okay. That means that you know how to pronounce it and mm -hmm. you can do it well, okay? Now, uh, any uh, doubts about good rather and good prefer? Do you understand them? Could you speak, uh, could you explain for us? Uh, okay. What is the meaning? But good rather and good prefer is when you have to make a choice. Okay. Good rather is almost the same as good prefer. Uh, is when when you have a choice to make, and then you say, "Would you rather?" go to the beach or to the mountains? Or would you prefer going to the beach or to the mountains? Okay, you have to change, you, you have to choose and you have to give your opinion of what is best for you. Okay, then. Okay. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? The answers for this, if you notice is I'd, that means I would, I would rather, I'd, I would rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. Yeah. Here, you have the choice, media class or health class. The first one said, I'd take a media class. That means the first choice. And then someone else said, I'd rather not take either. That means I don't like media and I don't like health class. So uh, either, none of them, okay? I'd rather take another course than study media or health. That this could be the same 
person. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Okay. You can choose or you can say, I don't want none of them. Okay. I didn't want any of them. The, it, that means that since it is something uh, that is according to your choice, there are not good or bad answers because it's what you prefer. In this case, the first one said that he wanted media class. It could be another that uh, uh, chooses health class, but there are people that don't like either of them. And he says, I rather not take either. You use either when you already have a not before. Okay. Either and ne neither are the same. But neither is used when you don't have the not. Have you seen neither? When you have an N here, neither. You use that when you don't have a not. But when you have a not, you use either. So it's a... Uh... Ninguno. Uh -huh, yeah, but uh, it's, uh, the other way to say is I would rather take neither. Exactly. I take neither of them. Then I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Okay, then we have the other. Good rather or good prefer. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I prefer to study film. I prefer not to study either. Okay. Nowadays, you, you will have that choice in El Salvador. We are going to have a, a, a film industry. The, the Baldwin guy is interested on, on investing in El Salvador. And he wanted to make a, a, a movie about, about Maria Chichilco. <laughs> it's interesting that they are looking at us. Now, would you rather and good prefer? Okay, here there are some uh, expressions that you may ask somebody. For example, let's join a chore. I'd rather not join a chore. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a chore. I'd prefer not to. Okay, these are polite ways to say no, thank you. <laughs> is join a chore. A chore is un coro, o sea, unirse a un coro. A mí me gustaba, es más, hice a mi mamá que se uniera conmigo al coro de la iglesia, porque a mí me gustaba. Y como ella no me iba a dejar a mí ir solita, entonces ella iba conmigo. Let's join a chore. Well, how, how do you chore. spell that? Chore. 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 Pronunciation. The chore. Chore. Chore.
Now, good rather and good prefer. Remember, they both mean the same and both are used with choices. What I told you, good rather and good prefer mean the same and both are used with choices. And this one is for your discussion box. Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? No, at night? Well, I, I had to do it for a long time, but I prefer afternoon classes, not night classes. Not in the morning. As I told you, I think that I can manage better uh, the homework because mm -hmm. I can, if I go in the afternoon, when I return home in the evening, I can start the homework. And, and if I didn't finish it, I can continue in the continue morning, in the morning. Mm -hmm. before classes. No. But if I had to go to morning classes, I had not that time to finish the things. And sometimes there are many other things to do during the afternoon and you, you don't go directly to make your homework when you get mm. back from, from, from school. There are other th things to do, watching TV, going out with the friends or whatever. But if you study in the afternoon, you go, you get, you get home almost when there's not daylight, then mm -hmm. you cannot go out with friends. So you go directly to start homework. Okay, then you can manage better your time. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yolanda. No, uh, you are muted. <laughs> no, in this case, you talk about young people because in our case, we work all day and we need, need to take uh, classes at night. <laughs> yes, yes. That, and, that's, and why, that's why you, 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 you choose. <laughs> yes, but remember, remember that this is not actually a class. This is just like a reinforce because you have all your classes in the platform yes. so you can you can study at any time that you have spare time to do that so this is just a reinforce that's why it's only from monday to thursday then you have the weekend <laughs> to to go ahead or, or whatever okay but this is just to make sure that you are completing the exercises okay uh, but but yes, uh, that's why I prefer online classes because you can study at your own rhythm. Okay, you can do the things for by now, sometimes in other courses, I have people that already finish all the all the course in just two weeks. And they and they just come here to check if the uh, uh, on pronunciation or to practice or any questions that they have, but uh, uh, they can study by their own. That's why I like online classes. I prefer online classes that rather than going to certain place and be there at certain hour. And if you miss the class, you have no chance to get it back, okay? But online classes, all the classes in the platform, you cannot miss it. <laughs> well, uh, I forgot to, to to delete this, I had to delete this. This is from the previous. Okay, now 
any doubts about uh, about good rather or good prefer? No. It's okay. That in this case, would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? What would you prefer? Mr. Dagoberto? I, I would prefer, I, no, I prefer uh, in-person classes. Really? Why? Huh? Uh, it's, uh, it's the old school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's too uh, no uh, I think that the personal contact is very personal contact is important okay exactly uh, uh, I como le digo en, en que es la experiencia you learn, you learn more with, with, with a group of person than alone no, I like the online classes too, but the the, the contact with the persons the the, the is uh, you know that that's we, why we, we that's need. why worldwide worldwide they decided to get back to classes even when the when the pandemic is not. Uh, has not finished yet because of that, because uh, many students were failing because they, they need the contact with other human beings in order to learn. That happened mm -hmm. with, with my son. He cannot, he cannot manage online classes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I was like, why not? For me, it's, it's better online classes than going presential. Uh, uh, you, the, you waste the, less less money on on gas. You waste you wasted less time on going there and come back. Uh, you have everything online, but the problem is that uh, since online classes are different than uh, presential classes. And the education nowadays try to have the presential classes using online things, which is not the same. Online classes have a different structure. And that's why they fail because they don't prepare their classes as an online classes has to be prepared, okay? They want to, to take the computer as a tool to give presential classes and the students has to be there trying to be like in class, but each of them in their in their houses. And if the teacher has not prepared the class properly, then the students get lost because they have other things in the computer that distracted them more. Um, okay. And then the teacher has not uh, regulated that. Okay, they have no power over that. In, in my case, I like the, the online class and personal class classes, but uh, I prefer person, uh, personal classes, uh, in person classes. But uh, uh, the interaction with the other people is better. Uh, uh, you say that uh, the students that 
the national system. Uh, they have a computer, but they have they can to como le digo conectarse. They haven't internet. They, they didn't know how to how to use it. Yes. No, they... uh, and they haven't uh, in the rural zone. Uh, the people, uh, the, the boys, the, 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 the student have to work for her, her, her food, man, uh, for him, he, no, them food. Uh, they haven't money for to buy uh, internet. And we, well, we supposedly, as far as I know, if they already had the computer and the tablet that the government exactly. gave them, it's already with internet connection. Uh, no, they they have a internet dates, but one giga, one giga for all month for for a month. Uh, in... It's not enough. Uh, sí, eso es no suficiente. Well, uh, if it's not enough, if they use it for other things, but if it, they use mm -hmm. it only for studying, maybe. No, I, 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 I buy, I, I, I buy, I was buying uh, ten dollars for month, the for my internet in the school. Oh, in the school, I buy the internet. But the school don't have it. Uh, don't have. Oh, really? No. Uh, all, all, all teachers have to buy here, he, them internet. Oh, really? Uh, well, at least the school has to have uh, their own internet connectivity for the teachers. No. Sorry. No, the, in the rural zone, the, this year, the, two years, the, como, como le digo, pues, ya llevamos dos años. Yes. Yeah. Hasta es, this year is the, empiezan, o sea, como le digo, hasta este año se empieza a enviar un paquete para los profesores, los alumnos todavía, ¿no? Uh -huh. O sea, los alumnos tienen uno propio para su teléfono, pero ya le digo, un giga que se acaba rápido. Y usted tiene razón, pues vea, muchas veces lo ocupan en otra cosa. Sí. Pero, pero tampoco es suficiente. Pues si lo quiere, si quiere, no sé cuántos gigas me gasto en una clase en línea, pero creo que 10 dólares no me alcanzarían para este curso. <risa> yes. Maybe. Well, the y, thing ah, is y, that... uh, de, Piense, este... Cinco días a la semana, los hipotes sentados frente al monitor. Mm -hmm. eh, no, no. No, it's not enough. You're right. I, I thought it was differently. What? Mucho, mucho contar una computadora. <laughs> well, the important yeah. thing is to never stop with questioning. The important thing is to never stop questioning. Do you know how a uh, philosophy started? Ustedes conocen cómo empezó la, la, la filosofía? No. Do you know that philosophy is the mother of the science? All the science, the formal ones, in the humanistic ones. All the science come from the philosophy. Philosophy is the love to knowledge, okay? The philosophy started this way, questioning. The uh, Aristoteles, the, the students gathered with him and he always asked why. Okay. And, and, the, and the students had to have to start questioning why this, why that. And 
that's how the knowledge started. When nobody takes everything for granted, but started to questioning why, okay? And then they started to study uh -huh. and develop that, okay? Todo empezó preguntándose. Entonces, the, the science and the, the and everything, because even even with 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 uh, for example in, in psychology, you have to understand why people uh, under the same circumstances, they work differently, okay? For example, uh, you can have the same class to many students. Some of them will learn and some of them won't. Why? Because they are different intelligence. They are different ways to learn. That's why we had to get different uh, ways to give the same thing to the same to 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 all the the different people in a room because some of them are uh, like to listen some of them like to see something some of them like colors some of them uh, like images uh, they learn from different uh, aspect and you had to try to cover most of them in each class in order to have the best. In, in the case of uh, Miss Yolanda Cativo, she has to know a lot of games in order to make her students to learn. But don't think that only in preschool we have that, uh, we had to do that. We may keep it all through because you learn a lot when you are uh, playing, when you enjoy what you are doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, we will continue, okay, tomorrow. Or do you want to perform the knowledge check? This is not long, I think. Do you want to develop it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's check this. 3.4. Okay. Complete the conversations with good and the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. Good. Would you prefer to take? A course in science or nutritional science. Okay. Now, I'd prefer to register. Okay. I prefer to register, register for register. or just register. No, to register. To register for nutritional science course. I would rather you. Uh, uh, would you rather um, learn. learn learn English in Australia or Canada? Learn. No, learn. Okay. I think I'd prefer to study. Okay. And if you uh, if you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or have a private tutor? Have or to have? No, only have. Only have. Okay. 
I rather sign up for this is for, and this is class. This this poor guy was was sleepier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Dan uh, hire a tutor. Okay. Would you rather join? Join. A chore or an orchestra. Join a chore or an orchestra. 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 In this case, orchestra. 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 Okay. I rather sing. Sing in a chore than play in, in an orchestra. Or orchestra. Orchestra. Okay. orchestra. Okay. Good. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do you need to copy it or everybody has it? Todos lo tienen? Yeah. Okay. Now we finish. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.